I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, so like I said, this morning I asked the Lord, you know, what would you have me share? I was very distracted. If y'all think I just sit here for my whole quiet time and I'm just perfectly in the presence of the Lord. Nope. Super distracted. And when I pulled myself back, I'm like, Lord, I'm sorry. You know, what is your heart? And sometimes I wonder why would he speak to me if I just, you know, went off somewhere else for a long time in my mind, but he's so, um, he's so gracious. So he, I felt like there's somebody who's listening, who's going through a really hard time. And I know a lot of us are, um, and they know all the right things to think, you know, all the Bible verses, um, that they should cling to, but they feel really alone in this struggle, um, in this darkness. And, you know, you probably even have others around you. Um, so I'm not saying like you're totally alone in this, but you feel alone and you wonder where God is in this and you know that he never leaves you nor forsake you, but, but part of your heart is just feeling like, um, just alone in the struggle. And I just feel so strongly that he wants me to encourage you to encourage me that he is with us. Um, even when we don't feel it, uh, even when we don't believe it. Even with, we're like, no, I don't think you're here, Lord. He is. He is with us. And he brought me to a couple of scripture this morning. It started out with um, Psalm 73. Um, and it's such a good psalm. The whole front part of it is David kind of complaining about the people who are doing well and he's not and all of that. And then he, um, I feel like he had a revelation of seeing their end. Then he was in the sanctuary and he saw that their end was destruction. And so he says, Verse 23 through 26. Nevertheless, I am continually with you. You hold me by my right hand. You will guide me with your counsel and afterward receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is none upon the earth that I desire beside you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion. Okay, and the person who this is for, um, what you're going through um, many people are suffering right now, but, um, so you're not alone in that, but what you're going through, um, only the Lord can be with you in that. Okay. Nobody's had your unique makeup, your unique life circumstances, your unique situation. It's only the Lord who is with you in this. Okay. Like I said, you might have friends and people who pray with you. Um, but I want you to know that it's the Lord who's with you. Um, Psalm 23 verse four says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Okay. He is with us in this. And I just want it to bypass your head a little bit. Okay. And get down into your spirit. Um, <clears throat> Isaiah 40 or sorry, Psalm 46, one through three, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And I'm going to pause there because, you know, I like to look things up. Very present help there means exceedingly might, force, abundance, muchness, greatly um, showing magnitude or degree to a great degree exceedingly. So how present is he with you in this right now where you don't feel him and you don't see him? Greatly, all right? Abundantly, exceedingly. So let me start back over. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. Okay, he is with us in it. <clears throat> Deuteronomy 31, 8 says, it is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not fail you nor forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. And then right before I started, I was praying and I felt like he reminded me of Psalm 139. Um, and it says, where can I go from your spirit or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there, your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. Okay. And then just one last one. Um, thought I had it typed up. Isaiah 41, 10. Fear not, says the Lord, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you, and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Okay? So, I know what you're feeling, and I know the darkness, and I know the struggle, and I know that it feels like you're alone. 
but I want you to start grabbing a hold of these scriptures and just, I know that you're with me, Lord. I know that you're holding me, Lord. I know that you are leading and guiding me, Lord. Okay, start changing um, your thinking and start speaking it out of your mouth. Okay, um, like I said, if this is you, I know the Lord's heart is for you right now and he really wants you to know this. So I'm going to go ahead and pray, um, pray over you. And so just, just receive, okay, receive his comfort, his presence, his mercy, okay? Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, that you specifically have this word for somebody today who feels alone, Lord. I pray right now, Lord, that they would sense your presence so close to them, Lord that you would speak to their spirit, that they would hear you say, I am with you. I am with you in this fire. I am with you in this darkness. I am with you in this struggle. You may feel alone, but you are not, child. I am with you. Father, just let them feel you wrap your arms around them today. I pray, Lord, that you would strengthen them, encourage them, Lord that you would meet them in their weariness and you would just strengthen them, Lord. We thank you. We thank you, Father, that you are always with us. There's nowhere we can go away from your presence, that you are upholding us. We love you in Jesus' name. All right, ladies, there you go. I'm not sure who that was for, but I know, I know that I know I'm feeling his heart for you. You are loved and he is with you. Have a great day.